Hello everyone, this is How to Unity here with the fifth video of the 3D movement series. This video will cover how to import a character model from Mixamo into your Unity project. So first thing we're going to do is create a folder for our character models. And now we can go into our browser and I have Mixamo pulled up here and make sure that you create a login for this and sign up then only you'll be able to download your models so you can go into characters and if you scroll down I'm going to be choosing ninja let's choose ninja so if we click on ninja and click download there's a variety of different characters so you can scroll down to see which um, character model you like but I'm going to be using Ninja for this. So we click FBX for Unity for the format and T-Pose is fine for that. Click download. Okay so now we can go back into our Unity editor and we're going to pull up our folder which is in downloads and we're going to drag and drop our FBX into our character folder. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is drag and drop our character model into our scene view and just pop up right here. And as you can see, he has the ninja actually has no textures to it or color. So what we got to do for that is go back into our model, make sure you're on materials and extract textures. And then we're going to create a folder for our textures. New folder textures. Select this folder. Fix now. Click fix now. Okay, so now you can see that the textures have been extracted and are now applied to our character. So next thing we're going to do is add the player script, player movement script, and we're going to scale them up by a little bit so he can be more visible. Add a rigid body to him so he has gravity. And what we can do after that is delete our cube because we won't be using the cube as a player anymore. And we can go into main camera and drag and drop our player for that. So before we click play and test if our movement is working, we're going to add something into our script. So if you've been experiencing any inconsistency with the jump mechanics, uh, the reason for that is that we need to add a force mode parameter and it's going to be of type impulse. So this should fix any inconsistency in the add force function. So if we go back into Unity, we can now set our values for our run speed, draw phase speed, and jump force. We can set our jump force to something like four, run speed to five, draw phase speed to five. Um, now we're going to add a collider to our character. Let's make it a box collider. We're going to edit the collider's constraints. Seems good for now. Click play. Awesome, so now our character model has all the movements of our previous cube. So the next video will be covering how to add character animations to our character model. And if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button. And also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more content that I upload. And I'll see you on the next video.